I don't think that people are aware of the issue and most of that is because of these nets, these ghost nets are beneath the surface for the most part and because they don't see it, uh, there's, not, there's a severe lack of awareness about this type of a thing. Ghost gear is fishing gear that has been lost, um, either in the oceans or in the rivers or on land. Generally speaking, it's not something that fishermen, um, they ever want to do. It's something that they have to do. Um, sometimes it can get snagged on other gear that's beneath the surface or rocks. Um, in stormy weather, it can happen where uh, it can actually threaten to pull a boat under. So there is gear out there that's just floating in the ocean and they call it ghost gear because it continues to catch animals and fish, uh, gets mammals and stuff tangled up in it and it kills them and uh, nobody benefits from it. really is no other way in North America to get rid of this stuff. So we uh, have a, a relationship with a recycling company who will take these nets and recycle them and turn them into brand new nylon fiber to be used in brand new consumer products. Working on the nets, there's usually two or three people at a time, and it can take um, upwards of four or five days to go through an entire net of about this size. We've uh, recycled 80,000 pounds so far, and we probably have another 25,000 pounds sitting ready to, um, and we'll just accumulate another 40. Well, our hope is to expand the program beyond Steveston Harbour here. Um, we're a member of the Global Ghost Gear Initiative and uh, through them we're looking to try and expand the program across BC and hopefully across Canada.